Hello, my name is Jamie Nieto, 2004 Olympian high jumper. Uh, I was fourth at the 2004 Olympics. I jumped seven feet eight inches, and that's 2.34 meters. For you guys who don't know your meters, please learn them. Seven feet eight inches, 2.34. Okay, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the high jump, the aspects of the jump. Um, I'm gonna go into, after I've already warmed up, I'm at the point to where I'm about to actually start taking some jumps. Um, I'm gonna go back here again, consistency is the key. So what I'm gonna do, lower the bar. Toby, can you help me lower the bar, please? And put it to a comfortable height. Um, I guess just put it to two meters for right now. I put the bar to two meters. I like to keep it relatively low sometimes just to work on the aspects of the jump. I don't want to have to think a lot about the jumping. A lot of times we get caught up in moving the bar up, 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 and we want to see how high we can jump in practice. But really we want to see how technically sound we can be in practice. And a lot of times when we move the bar up, 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 we, start, we stop thinking about the technique and we start to think about just clearing the bar, which ends up a lot of times, sometimes can be good, but a lot of times can be bad because we start reinforcing bad techniques because we think, let me do anything I can do to get over this bar. But we want to keep it relatively low a lot of the times um, and, and, and just really enforce the technique. So I'm gonna go back here and again, what I like to do is keep everything consistent in the sense that I also think the same thing every time. Consistency is the key. When I'm up here getting ready to start my approach, place my foot here. I watch myself, visualize myself, take 10 steps, watch myself clear the bar, and then I do it. Now, you might be asking yourself, which foot do I jump off of? How come he's over on this side? Well, the reason why I'm on this side is because I've already tested both sides. Sometimes I actually jump from the other side just to get some balance in my jumping because I've been jumping for so long, to jump from the other side kind of helps my body to be balanced out. Uh, but as for you, you younger jumpers who don't know what side you should come off of, I believe that you should try both sides. And once you've plotted out your marks on both sides, figure out which side feels the most comfortable to you. Now, some people say because you're right-handed, you should jump off your left foot. That's very common. I'm right-handed and I jump off my right foot. So there are different ways to jump. It's just, it just feels more natural to me to jump off of this side. So again, we're here. And remember, consistency is key. Make sure my foot is in the right place. Watch myself do the approach. See myself clear the bar and then do it. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> and that may happen. Again, it's, it's pretty cold out here today, so, and I've kind of warmed up and cooled down, but I'll take a couple more. And again, just try to work the technique. Remember, consistency is the key. So what I'm gonna do is make sure my foot is in the right place. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna visualize myself clearing the bar. Watch myself do the approach, clear the bar. Then I'm gonna go into my jump. Two, three, four. Boom, all right. All right, so that was two meters. Technically, I think that was a pretty decent jump. What do you think, Toby, it was all right? It was all right. Uh, again, I landed on my shoulders. This is a key place to land. When you do warm-ups and you do the back to the bar drill, you land on your shoulders. When you jump in the high jump, you wanna land on your shoulders. So, that way you know you're getting the momentum through the jump and over the bar. Um, there's many different aspects to the takeoff. I like to teach the runoff of the takeoff. There's different ways people take off. To me, I believe you should preserve yourself as a high jumper. If you want to have a long lasting career, learn how to jump correctly and most efficient for your body. So one of the takeoffs is the plant. I don't really like to teach the plant, but I'll show you the plant because you probably are doing the plant because you don't really know about running off the ground. 
So a lot of people who plant will push this foot into the ground and swing this penultimate step. Now the penultimate step is a step before the actual takeoff. So when I'm here, I would do this. Okay, did you see how my foot swung through? I planted with the heel and almost kicked this other leg. Now what I do and what I like to teach is the runoff, which is very similar to long jumping, but we're at, we're at a different angle because we're, we're high jumping. So what's gonna end up happening is when I come through the penultimate and take off, I'm actually gonna fire this step, which is gonna propel me through the takeoff. So this foot won't swing through, it will actually come through here, like that. So what it'll be like is when I come through, this is my, think about this being my ninth step and that being my 10th step, like that. But your momentum will carry you through. I'll try, I'll do it like three steps so I can show you how, what I'm talking about. It'll be, see how the momentum carried me forward? It wasn't stopped here. When you stop here, I'm talking about with the longevity and the pr preservation of your body. When you plant, a lot of this force goes here to your knee, which is your patella. A lot of you might have jumper's knee or patella tendonitis. The reason being is because you're planting more than likely. And when you're planting, you're wearing out this patella. So when you learn to run off the ground and bring this foot through, which is the penultimate step, you will stop getting tension here in the, in the knee because you'll be running off the ground correctly in my eyes, in my coach's eyes. So that is the takeoff. Now, once you've taken off, you would like to do your best to hold this vertical axis for a split second. The longer you hold it, the longer you will go up. So you need to hold this as long as possible. You wanna be straight up and down. So it's almost like there's a, a chute or a funnel here that I wanna go through. So when I come through here, I wanna go up. So I can go and go into the bar, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna fight all this momentum and pressure and actually almost kinda of jump this way. So I'd be like that. But the momentum is gonna carry you once you leave the ground and bring you over the bar. And you will find that a good place to jump is about here. You should be looking around here. I'm not looking at the bar, I'm looking above the bar. I wanna go through this pocket up here. And then as I'm passing through over the bar, I'm looking down the bar and at this other standard. So I drop my head back, and once I drop my head back, quickly bring it back to my chest, and I should be landing on my upper shoulders and doing my rotation, my flip in, in the pit. So, again, that's the 10 step approach. Coming through here, the takeoff, which is running off the ground, up in that tunnel, over, looking at that standard, dropping your head back, quickly bringing, and those are the basics of high jumping over the bar. Again, 90% of your approach is the run. So you gotta learn how to run. It's very, very important to learn how to be efficient in your running. It's very important to learn how to get this pressure here in this curve. That's why I encourage you to do both uh, warm-up techniques where you will do the, the, the approach where you break through the pit and the other one where you run off of the, um, the curve, which again, one will go through the pit and the other will bring you around the curve. To summarize what we learned today, we learned how to take off. We learn how to run through the approach, keep that pressure in the curve, a good plant, not a plant, a run off the ground, to bring the penultimate through, up through this chute, over the bar, dropping your head back, bringing your chin back to your chest, and flipping in the pit. And that's your pro tip of the day. Remember one thing, jump high.